Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to create an award-winning VEX engineering design notebook. This notebook is all about the engineering design process, hence the name engineering design notebook. This is the engineering design process. All these questions and answers are what you want to put in an engineering design notebook. On your first page though, you'll want to include a how to use this book page showing the format and design of your notebook. How will you deal with sketches? With photos or documents? That's what this page is all about. Since the goal of the EDN is to be clear enough that anyone could understand it, you must show them how to read your book. This will be essential because the judges only have 10 minutes, 10 short minutes, to read your notebook, and you want them to be able to find specific pages in your notebook as easily as possible. On to the next page. What do you have to do in the tournament? Carry boxes? Shoot balls? Put hollow rectangular prism frames on tubes? In the beginning of the notebook, you'll want to put an overview of what the game is. In the 2018-2019 competition, we had to flip caps, shoot flags, using balls, score caps on posts, and climb a three-tier platform in the center of the field. We wrote an overview stating the scoring objects, scoring points, scoring rules, and a map of the field. We also included a design brief which has a game overview, a problem statement, a design statement, some constraints, and our immediate strategies. Then we included some brainstorming ideas. Now that we've defined our problem, done some background research, specified our requirements, we must now brainstorm. Specify your robot's components based on your strategy. What will win you the most points? How will you score those points? In the 2018-2019 competition, the highest scoring item was to get onto the top yellow platform in the center of the field. To do that, we had to have a base that could move. Next up were the flags. In total, there were 15 points to get all of them, so we decided that we had to have a launcher. And how were we going to get balls to the launcher? An intake. We wrote up the components that we needed and some, criteria for, and some criteria for the components. Then we brainstormed ideas, sketched them, and explained them how they worked so anyone could understand, and built and tested them. Then we jotted down the results and compared them. After that, we chose the best solution, the one that met the most requirements. In this case, for the intake, we chose a rubber band barrel because it was the most efficient. After we got all of our components designed and built, we began building the robot. We included a robot design page to show all of the components of the robot where they'll be. Remember, this is just a first prototype. You can improve as needed to better fit your criteria and be more efficient and effective. After the robot design, we began doing a daily log. Following our notebook format, we wrote the first meet day's highlights, what everyone did and what problems came up, and if and how we solved them. Make sure to include pictures and try to keep your notebook as simple as possible to understand. A clear notebook is a great notebook. If you have any new designs for components that aren't working, make sure to jot them down. Same goes for mathematics. Judges love mathematics. Also, try not to procrastinate any EDN work. If it fits your schedule, a 10 minute EDN break at the end of each meet is a good time to do EDN. Make it a golden rule not to bring any food or drink within spilling range of the EDN. When you get to your first competition or scrimmage, you might want to include a match grid in your notebook. What alliance did you play? Red or blue? Who won? How many points? Did you win autonomous? For each match, make sure to include 
notes about the positives and negatives of the match. This will help you fix any problems that occurred during the match. Another thing you might want to try or include is a noteworthy teams blurb, which denotes the functions of any other teams that stood out to you. What changes will you do? What malfunctioned? You'll want to include that as well. If you're going to totally rebuild your robot, include a design as well. What will you be changing? How will it improve your robot? As I said before, judges love mathematics. Seeing things like calculations of grip head descent speed will make your EDN stand out, but be clear and concise about mathematics like these because it's easy to make them very confusing. Denote each step along the way so it's easy to understand. If you're switching between two notebooks, just mesh right between. Don't add anything else, just go to the next page like it was this in the same notebook. If you want extra points, bind your two EDNs together in a three ring binder. To make it easy to identify, label your EDN with your team name and number. That's about it for now. Remember to make your engineering design notebook as crystal clear as possible so anyone can understand it. Don't procrastinate work and focus on the engineering design process. If you have any questions, feel free to check out the VEX Engineering Design Notebook rubric, which is available at www.roboticseducation.org. The full e URL is included in the comments of this video. This is what the judges will be using to judge your notebook, so make sure to hit all the criteria. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.